programming language knowledge should not be measured in an interview. That's my opinion. But I can I can I can understand that companies willing to do that, right? They want to say, okay, we our stack is in JavaScript, so we want to have the best JavaScript developer. Makes sense. But uh, actually, what actually matters is to how good are you at finding. How good are you at, at hacking something together? That's what it actually is. How good are you at hacking some, something together? Because that's the most difficult part, right? Because there are a lot of these, these programming uh, nitpickers, right? We talk about these programming nitpickers all the time on the stream. We talk about them all the time. They, they are very good at their programming language. They are the Ruby. They are so good. You know, everything. Python, they know everything. Rust, they are always there to comment on a PR that something is not quite right. Something is not okay with your code. It's working, but these guys, yeah, they have, they, they, they have, I don't know, they want a nitpick. These are very good, but are they also very good at hacking things together? Probably not. Because if you can hack things together, this basically means building solutions there's always, you can always make it better yourself, right? It's just a little bit of studying the syntax, right? A little bit of best practicing, looking looking at, at some, some examples, what is the best practice, and refactoring your solution to a best practice. You know what I mean? But being a nitpicker in a programming language, going to a nitpicker that knows everything, to a problem solver, a hacker, that's problematic. That's problematic. And if you're being a nitpicker and you're 30 years or you're 28 or you're years and years and years of nitpicking, it's going to be very hard to get out of this nitpicking zone and go back to the problem solving zone. Uh, and you're going to make your money, right? Companies need nitpickers, like company needs a little different kind of people, right? I already talked, I already talked about this. You have different kinds of programmers. I am a builder. I am not a finisher. I, I cannot finish. You see my code. I'm a builder. I make things. Uh, I try to make things. I try to come up with creative solutions, but the last 20%, I'm good at the 80%. I'm the best at the 80%. I'm going as a fucking madman, right? As a madman. But the last 20 to 30%, like finishing things up, you know, like these little bits, a test here and a test there, and oh, this needs to be this and that needs to be refactored. Ah, that's not for me. And a company does not need to have too much of guys like me. Because if everybody is like me, the company is a big problem, right? You need a lot of net, you need to have a lot of finishers. People that need a list of issues, people that need guidance, people that need planning, people that need support, right? They, they, they cannot figure something out themselves, it's fine. They need to have a clear Jira issue with some examples and some things and clear guidelines and they will fix that. They will fix that issue. They will make that happen and they will, they will do it good. And it will be perfectly fine. The color will be the exact gradient like you asked for and it will be fine. But don't ask these people to, hey, this is a problem. How do we solve that? <gasps> They choke. They have no clue. Where is my diagram? Where is my text? Where is this? Where is that? I don't have an example. <gasps> In a language I don't know. And they are getting a burnout. You know what I mean? These people, they, 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 it's fine. A company needs a lot of different profiles. You know what I mean? And you also need these nitpickers that are the people that are always there and then they, the gatekeepers of the code. You know what I mean? These... There are a lot, the PR managers, the, the, the lead developer, you know what I mean? The guy with his fat belly, uh, with his dusty keyboard, you know? The guy that plays World of Warcraft 24-7. There are a lot of different profiles and nobody is the same. Right? Nobody is the same person. And I, you, you need to understand where you, are you good at and you need to abuse that, right? If you're good at X, you need to abuse that and tell the people that you're good at that, so you can have that role, you know what I mean? So you can be happy. If you sit me in front of a GitHub list, 
with issues that I need to complete. 50 issues, and I need to complete that for the rest of my life. All these, man, no money in the world, I'm gonna do that. Even if they pay me 500K a year, I don't give a shit. I ain't gonna do that, you know what I mean? I'm a creative person, I'm a builder, I'm an engineer, I want to build things up from the ground up and call it a day, you know what I mean? 80% and vamos a la playa, you know? Whew. But how does the, the uh, nitpicker becomes a builder? Never. Nitpickers will never be builders. Like I said, you cannot reprogram. You are who you are. The, the nature of the beast can never be changed. People will not change their mind. People will die. It is what it is. In my, in my career, in my life, actually it's, not like, it's, it's more may, maybe a life advice. In my life, I questioned myself the way how I do to people, how I react to people, how I, what's in my head all the time. I questioned myself a lot of times. That I thought, man, am I normal or is something wrong with me? And sometimes I see people, and I'm gonna give you an example. I see when I bought my house, my house, there was a guy and everything was in order. He was so structured. I remember that he was, uh, he had a, a little box, a nice little plastic box. And in that box, he had all the papers of the, uh, when he replaced the garden lights, uh, the, the thing of the refrigerator, uh, the documents of the chairs I bought over because I have like a, a higher kitchen tablet and higher chairs and I bought them over. And he had everything from over these years. He had all the keys, all the keys of all doors. All the keys beautifully in that plastic thing. And I was there and I was amazed. I was, I thought, how can one be so organized? How do, they, how do you do that? I'm the most savage person on the planet. Give me a calendar and I basically die. I cannot plan anything if somebody says tomorrow at two o'clock we do this i'm basically already starting to die inside you know i rather go two times to the to the to the supermarket because i forgot things that i make a fucking list and there are so many points in my life that i thought i want to be that other guy i'm going to change myself now it's time to change I want to be more organized. I want to be more humble. I want to be more, um, I want to be soft. I want to be more this. I want to be more that. I want to be a CTO. I want to be this, but I tried so many times to change myself, but I can't because I think the nature of a person cannot be changed. You are who you are and you need to abuse the qualities you have and embrace. You need to embrace what you have and you need to embrace your own talent. You know what I mean? I want to be more like him, but maybe 10,000 people want to be more like you. 